This is still the press and we're reaching you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan TV. Right about now, we have the founder of the Love Walk Media, Obadiah Mbila, with us in the studio. And with him, we're going to be analyzing some of the headlines we have read to you before the break. You're welcome to the program this morning. Thank you very much, Chef. Great to have you. I'm mm. happy to be with you again. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, once again, great to have you in the studio. And um, this weekend, uh, even as much as um, it was an off-cycle election, it was a busy one for everybody. Mm. It was a busy one for all of us. It was a busy one from the Northern Ants, Eastern Ants, uh, Southern Ants, Western Ants. It was a busy one for all of us as Nigerians because uh, it felt like um, uh, Nigerians were keeping their fingers crossed to see if uh, some of the things, some of the things that uh, stood as um, challenges during the presidential uh, elections were going to raise an ugly head again during the off-cycle uh, elections. But then, uh, let's start from this point. What's your general assessment on the electoral process in uh, Kogi, Bayelsa and Imo so far? Uh, have they met your expectations? Uh, what, what are the noticeable improvements that you have noticed as uh, an elder statesman? <laughs> uh, do I really qualify for uh, the office of an elder statesman? Of, of course you are an elder <laughs> statesman. Oh, well, you know, before now we all knew the background of the states where this uh, election were to be held or was held. Mm -hmm. um, people were very much apprehensive about the violent nature of some of the states in question. It was unarguably uh, in the public domain that the story of Kogi State is uh, decorated with violence. Mm -hmm. So also Imo State. Few weeks even before the election, we, we we saw the manhandling, so to speak, of uh, the NSC president uh, Ajero, mm. and uh, in the last election, it was to be the turn of the state chairman of the Labour Party, who was bundled out of the uh, uh, the coalition Revolution center, center. Mm. where he is rightfully expected to be mm. and to be respected at least he, uh, by his status he should be the one to witness uh, the collection of the gubernatorial election mm. in his state the state but state chairman yes there's not not the party agent no 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 you know the first uh, press report had it that it was a party agent okay. but uh, uh, f fact checked has proven that uh, the, that's the state party chairman. No, what I'm saying is, is it a state, uh, is it a state, uh, a state's party chairman that should be at the state coalition center? So, okay, to, okay. To observe no, no, the no, process. No, 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 no. Or, or, or the, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the, the party, party agent, agent, the party agent is to be there, though. Mm. So, if but we a, have found. So, if it's a, if it's a, pa if a party agent should yes. be there, yeah, and. A party agent is not there, and the uh, state party, the state party chairman, is there in place of the party agent. And there's a bridge of um, protocol. Uh, there's a bridge of protocol there, and uh, it should. Don't you think uh, uh, the law should take its course? Yeah, because, I, I, because, I, I, the, because I quite the, agree. Because the electoral states that the party agent yes. will represent the party at the coalition center. Yes, not I, the state party chairman. Yes, yes, yes. You you're right. And I, I think if it has been an uh, oversight mm -hmm. in the past, we have tolerated that. We have seen most of the party, uh, both state and national chairmen, at the, po at the collection center. Mm -hmm. um, I do not you understand. You want to cite some examples? Come again. You want to cite, uh, some, uh, cite some instances when we've had um, state party chairman? Uh, well, I don't have one at, at, uh, I don't want to have one at hand now. But be that as it may, uh, th there should have been other civil way of handling such infraction if mm -hmm. it was established as what he did was a bridge of protocol. Mm -hmm. He can be uh, handed over 
to the police, you know, in a way, in a manner that uh, shows respect for human rights. But then okay. what, would, what would you actually say about the electoral umpire where we saw the story or the reports saying that um, observers were asked not to come in with their phones or not to video or record anything? Again, sometimes, you see, we, the, 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 the comes a time we need to protest laws or rules that were designed to suppress information. Can't you read the meaning of don't come with phone? Mm. Is it because you don't want me to snap the original uh, e, uh, from E46 as it Initiative. were? Usually that's the, where the problem lies. If you allow the form with which the report from uh, the electoral report from the world uh, if, you, if, you, if you allow it to be manipulated, the entire process is manipulated. So, but if you can get evidence to show that this thing is not the original form we are talking about, because what they usually do is that they should change. The ones that come from the words are either change at the world level or in the process of transiting, uh, transporting it from the world to the state collections or local government collection center as it were or the state collection center so those of us that have uh, observed election in the past have come to discover that the only way you can uh, get evidence of what happened is by taking a photograph of that original form so that when they finally manipulate and trans uh, put their uh, first figure in uh, a new form, a new form, you'll be able to identify, oh, this has the same date as this. And this is the evidence that the um, court was asking for during the um, tribunal and then the Supreme Court verdict, yeah? Evidence, as far as I'm concerned, that does not include that form with which you, bro uh, you, you, you tabulated the votes from various units. If it is not there, it simply means someone wants to suppress information. Mm. Someone wants to alter information. So if uh, INEC has said, look, don't come with phones, we should rise up and question why. All right. Let's quickly take this call. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Collins from Otuko. Please be audible so we can hear you. Good morning. Collins from Otuko. Go ahead. We can hear you. Okay, uh, I don't know how we are going to do this uh, electoral process. Like in the sense that uh, most of the parties, are, especially the ruling parties, when they are in power, they will never want to step down, even though the masses doesn't need them. You see, if you want to tackle the problem of this electoral and all the killings and all the destructions and uh, whatsoever then something must be done now if you want to rule me yes if you have the capacity to convince me or convince other people to vote you when you come in do the writing let me give you an example now there was a particular house of rep member from my so from my area, that is Okoku, Ogbadibu, Anato. We give him a name, Usikisaga. He's somebody that believed that people elected him just to make sure that his constituency are being good taken care of. That is, there must be good roads, there must be electricity. There must be uh, uh, security and so many other things. Mm. But some of our electoral officers, they don't even think of that. Mm. Their aim is just to come in, loot the money and find their way. Mm. But right. when the masses be begins to see that these people are not making waves just to the growth of their constituency, they still want to bring another person back into the system with force. Mm. All right, Colin, so I don't know, you I said it last week, that if I put that we want to fight and tackle this issue, then 
because we believe that the National Assembly must make a law that will keep all these things, then they have to do something about it. All right, thank you, Collins. Thank you, Collins. Your point is very well taken. No no. Thank you very much for that call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good, good morning, morning sir. How was your night? Very well, thank you, sir. Yeah, my name is Chief Arrow. Chief Arrow, go ahead from Kadu. Yeah. You see, what, what is happening in Nigeria now is, 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 very, is very disappointing. You see, one American satirist, Russell Baker, once said, I quote, The dirty work of political conversion is always done in the green hours between midnight and dawn. Look at what happened in uh, uh, Kogi. E election results was being written before, before, before the election. And you know, what well, the most disappointed uh, thing is that uh, the they, they, uh, they, they INEC now postponed the election for another one week. And the same INEC now announced the result of Kogi. Are they not now discussing those people who are going to vote? That is to say their vote is not going to be counted. That is to tell you that we don't have serious INEC. I don't believe in INEC again. I am telling you. You see, there is a cloud of, uh, of uncertainty towards our democratic process in Nigeria. I ask some questions. When are we going to have transparent and credible election? Mm. Will the oh. vote of, uh, of every Nigeria be counted? As Bishop Kuka said one time, he said, our country, Nigeria, is still far away from the principle of republican democracy. I hope we are not dancing on razor edge. Look at look at what happened the, to the Labour Party uh, uh, party uh, agent. This guy was beaten to, to, to nonsense because he was trying to project an argument that look, this was what happened during the coalition exercise. But that vice chancellor who 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 who, who so pretended. Uh, that uh, uh, collision. Mm. Uh, it, it, it is very unfortunate. All right. In my own view, he didn't play a very good card. He was listening to the to the uh, agent of the Labour Party to hear whatever he was going to say. Mm. But instead, right. that guy was beaten to nonsense. Right. And you saw the poli policeman watching. Chief Ayo, we have to let you go at time. It's past point. Beating this boy. Is that how we are going to rule this country? Thank this you very country much. is a big problem. Look look at what happened so on, on money, money banking. Uh, so one of the uh, NYAC was found to have had one million. One million with him. And EFCC also discovered 11 million. What happened in Imo was, was money back. Forget about what so I let, We have to let you go. Our time is fast spent. God help our country, Nigeria. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that contribution. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Captain TV. Good, good morning. morning. Go ahead. I yeah, came from Lagos. You have one minute, from please. Lagos. Okay, no problem. Uh, my own comment on this issue is just that uh, I will be a little bit different from others. Uh, I will want to commend INEC and don't misjudge me. I want to commend INEC in the sense that uh, at least it shows that the system that is in place for the moment is working somehow. Why? If the uh, the position are really finding it difficult not to manipulate election to the extent that they will have Um, fill voting uh, ballot paper, okay? Oh. That shows that uh, manipulating that election is very, very difficult now. But right. I haven't said that. Yeah, I haven't said that. You know, uh, the other political party, one problem I have with them is this. Knowing that Iris is more or less useless legally, okay? Legally is useless. So they should, to me, they should have funded their representatives in each every polling unit to be there for them. That is the problem the last uh, presidential All election right, uh, uh, the last election go. Had. You understand? Thank you, so sir. there is no way we can have anything perfect in Nigeria. 
May God bless Nigeria. That's all. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I came from Lagos. All right. So let's quickly move as we try and see how we can round up. Still on um, the election matters, I would like to bring back the question that Francis asked you of your own. Um, if you have to, judging from all that happened, what would be your assessment? But if you have to go th um, uh, give us that answer, um, Francis was also on ground to give us um, detailed what happened in Kogi State and then he came out to tell us um, evidently that um, the PDP candidate that Senator Dino Milai did not even vote at all. And then he came out to complain of how um, people have, be, how the election have been rigged. He said it must be cancelled. And then he talked about um, voter apathy, talked about votes and suppression and all. But then if you did not even vote, you are just asking people, do as I say, but don't do as I do at the end of the day. So what, what exactly would be your own um, assessment of it all? Putting together if you have to talk about the electoral umpire, their duty, and then also coming back to um, um, university professors or vice chancellors. You know, the business in INEC has become a ritual that those who knows how it works would always employ it to its fullness. Take the Kugi situation where INEC changed itself. What does it point to? Why did INEC suspend election in Bayelsa? Mm. What really is the reason why after voting at uh, polling stations the result of polling stations are changed before they arrive either at the uh, collection uh, local government collection center or the state collection center and this thing is ongoing the INEC and politicians have perfected their style of rigging and like the last caller was uh, really revealing. INEC itself appears to have lost moral consciousness of its role as an arbiter. So uh, its uh, workers and its agents have pre-election discussion with uh, contenders. They often would want to go as far as collecting from A and B at the same time. But only one B will be done. Sometimes they can even play you on the way and give you evidence that they really worked for you. While in the real sense, they are also working for the other person. Just Look, like the Labour Party candidate complained in Bielsa. Let me tell you, the, the, the system is so rotten mm. that you don't imagine that someone can just wake up and begin to correct uh, uh, the system. It's a system. Um, uh, uh, the uh, staff uh, uh, of uh, INEC knows that they are in for business. Uh, Elder Abadai, let me just, uh, let me come in here very quickly now. You just lampooned the Independent uh, National Electoral uh, Commission. Are you technically saying now that um, with the present constitution, with the present uh, uh, situation of the INEC, we cannot have a free, fair, and credible election. Are you saying it that? Be very, very are you possible. saying that INEC do not have the expertise to conduct a free, fair, and credible election yeah. at, at, the, at the moment? Yeah. Just before you bring more questions, okay. Please, Nigeria and Nigerians have gotten in the in the in the path of corruption to such irretrievable uh, state that every department, mm -hmm. every agency, religious organization, everyone has become so money conscious that no one is interested in looking uh, at the dignity of his position any longer. Mm -hmm. So, let us not bring INEC in isolation. Mm. Sometimes when people criticize National Assembly uh, members, 
Uh, they chop money. They do this. They do that. Some of these members of National Assembly, I knew how much they agitated for things to be done right. Mm. But by the time they come, the Nigerian thing will somehow wrap them up that they forgot that they were the one criticizing the system. But mm. then what, what role do you think the electorates, the people... The, the electorate, are they not Nigerians? Hmm. Are they not the ones that collect 1,000 to sell their, 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 their voters' card? So it's a general problem. That's yeah, what I'm saying. So that I said, let's not single out INEC as okay. the black sheep of the entire family. Okay. They are just doing their they're own the thing. Big, they are just the bigger black sheep. It's just <laughs> not their guy. <laughs> as far as election is concerned, yes. we can single them out. Okay. When we go to other areas, we know those that are involved. Okay. And you can also find out what I neck staff are doing as Nigerians is also what these other ones are doing either as a ministry uh, or as a parastata, as directors as directors and down to private enterprises mm. they know how to return contract that was not uh, executed and money will be paid them mm. so it goes down to even imams and pastors mm. who knows how to cajole the politician to come for prayer Hmm. Who knows how to cajole the politician to bring out the money because this is the only time they have. Hmm. See what they do with religious leaders during campaign hmm. is abominable. Hmm. They know that they are in business. Those, were, those ones are even at the um, at, at, the, at the echelon. You are still, we still saw the um, report saying that some core members were even caught here with their hands in the cookie jar. <laughs> that they, 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 ha they had monies with them. No, I, 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 we have said it. Let's not, let's not trivialize this. Mm. The core member did not leave uh, uh, his uh, comfort zone to come and serve in the uh, electoral uh, uh, platform uh, for the sake of the love of his country oh, wow. and the desire to make sure that things work oh, well. in this my country. Mm. I'll make sure I'll be an example. No core member. I repeat, no core member will leave. Are you slandering on the core members? Are you saying is that it? all of them? Are you, are you, are you slandering? You, you, you're just, <laughs> you just slandering slander the, the, the National uh, look, Youth Service look, scheme look, look, right now. Look, my dear, it is very, very embarrassing to discover that we often want to look at the truth and call it a different name. Okay. I said there is no core member that leaves his comfort zone mm. to go for. Uh, electoral services because he loves his country so much hmm. that is the reason why he's going no so are you saying that that's um, under the sun or in the rain is just a popular just one of those songs <laughs> you just sing it's just a cliche well well you want to uh, find out everything from me <laughs> you know allow me to be the elder test by you say yes <laughs> You know the the, 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 the the truth is um I just feel I feel like um uh, as uh, citizens we need, we need to get to a uh, that space whereby uh, the love for the country supersedes oh, wow. supersedes every other every other thing. Mm. But then a whole lot, the bulk of it falls on the National Assembly. Do you think the National Assembly in thirty seconds, do you think the National Assembly can really Look into our constitutions, look into our laws, and reform them such that this excesses becomes very difficult. Considering the fact that they are benefiting right now from the loopholes of the constitution, in 60 seconds, please. Yeah, I, I have said this over and over again. We Nigerians generally do not really know the role of the legislature. Mm. In governance if we do I think our expectation of National Assembly will minimize mm. somehow now some a caller calling here and was giving instances where a National Assembly member could not provide good roads mm. could not provide infrastructural facilities for his constituents mm. which is not his primary uh, 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 role uh, uh, as the Constitution uh, clearly stated, it was not said that he should go to the National Assembly to provide facility, infrastructural facilities. Mm. They are things that he can attract. Mm. So it must be considered secondary. We must rise up to discover, rediscover the, uh, the legislature. Mm. Because of our long years of military 
uh, executivism, we do not really understand or appreciate the role of the legislature. I mm. believe the National Assembly has a role mm. to uh, uh, create awareness for itself. Mm. But they are not doing that either. Mm. Uh, because maybe some uh, mundane interest is over overclouding mm. their decision. They are even right. there. And they, 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 they will uh, do, what do you call it, uh, electoral uh, act uh, re a review. Mm. And still would not find the idea that can make the National Assembly to play central roles at party conventions and party primaries. Mm. They have right. not been able to do that. Right, thank, thank you, you so much, much Obadiah Mbila. So much to talk about, but time has actually failed us because I remember um, the former president saying that National Assembly should bring a law to remove off-season elections. Mm. Quite, quite a number of things we could talk about, but our time is fast spent. Thank you so much. Always. Always. Thank always you so much treasure. for your time. Mm. So All right, so we'll move straight to social media corner. As I uh, promised, we're going to bring video of the runway, Abuja runway, and then also bring you video of Hopu Zodimma where he was celebrating his wins from the election. We'll see that and then we'll come back to end the show.